Hey everyone, welcome. It is my first video for the morning, so hopefully everything is set up nice. The video sounds great, the audio looks amazing. Let's just jump in here and I wanna talk about the else clause, but combined with a while loop. So we're gonna actually do something a little bit different. We're gonna create a while loop to look through some numbers and see if when you square these numbers, if any of them are larger than some particular number. So we'll, we'll make up a number. So let's say 500. If any of the numbers in the list is larger than 500, then we're good, we're searching for that. So here's how we would do that. First we can create a list numbers, and we'll just put some random numbers in here, like so. And now I just wanna set up a basic while loop structure, so I'm gonna say i is zero, and then while i is less than the length of numbers. What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna put some code, and then we're going to increment i. So first thing, let's just print the number so we can see it. So we'll say numbers index i. So numbers of i, that's going to grab the element and print it to the terminal. So running this, we get 5, 3, 6, 40, whatever, anything we have in this list here. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to take the number, multiply by itself, or square it, and see if it's larger than 500. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to get rid of the print. We don't need that right now. We know the loop is working. And then we're gonna say asterisk, asterisk, two. That'll raise it to the second power. And we're gonna check to see if this is larger than 500. So we can put this in an if. If numbers of i raised to the second power is larger than 500, and what we could actually do is we could actually use a variable for this. So we'll just say square here, and we'll sign it 500. So then we can just use that variable and we don't have to change our actual algorithm to change the number we're looking for. So we can go in here and say larger than square. So if that's the case, what we're gonna do is we're just going to print, we'll print some message, and then we will break. So what do we wanna print actually though? We wanna print numbers index i, and then maybe we can do some other stuff in here. So we'll say squared is larger than square. All right, so let's just test this out, run it, see if anything happens. 40 squared is larger than 500. So at least one of these is greater than 500. And I say at least because we are breaking from the loop. We're not continuing the loop. So we could have a number here, like let's say a really large number here. Run this and it still stops at 40, so it's fine. We don't need to check every one, we just wanna see the very first one in here that is larger than 500. Now when we put an else, you might intuitively put it on this if statement, and if we do that, here's what's gonna happen. And in this else, we can do something like print some message. We'll just say numbers of i, and then squared is not larger than square. So running this now, that's going to pop up for every single element that is not larger than 500 when it's squared. So when it hits 40, it still does this, but now we get these outputs for all of the previous numbers. So the else attached this if statement inside of a while loop, that's gonna execute every single time. And because we actually have this break here, we don't even need this else here because the only way for this to execute is if the break does not get hit. So that is another way we could structure this. I'm running it and we get the same exact output. Now if we put an else on the outside, lined up with the while, this only executes if the while loop finishes, which it doesn't because we're breaking out of it right now. But in here we could say none squared are larger than square. Now in this situation, let's just say we get rid of 40, and we replace it with four, and we get rid of 20 and replace it with two. Running this now, it goes through every single one, and then it says none squared are larger than 500. <laughs> it's kind of a weird sentence, but you guys get what I'm trying to say here. So that's how the else with a while loop works. It only executes if the loop finishes and it does not hit a break. If it does hit the break, so let's go in here and put a 70. Running this now, it does not say none squared are larger than 500. So that's how an else works with a while, just a little bit more practice using that. Again, you can use a flag variable and we're actually gonna show you how to do that again in the next video. Be sure to hit that sub button, you know? Do it for me, please.